We have lost Rick Gaither in the 66. Big crash in the heat race that kind of started things off. Couple of big crashes in the heats. If you miss the heat races today, watch them back on Speedway Video. So Mike Dom going to come back up and he will pace the field. He'll drop to the back for the start. Wave him off. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Bomber B is set to go for 21 laps in honor of George Dom. Frank the Tank worked on that car all week long. As a matter of fact, let me know several times. He wasn't sure if he was going to make it. They figured out the issues, and he's ready to win. He said he wasn't going to be here unless he could win. So let's see if he can back that up. Some heavy hitters in the field. William Heineman, 69. What does that 15 for Dustin Higdon have? He didn't race the heat race. What's going to happen here? Bomber B is set to go for 21 laps. Second feature of the night coming at you. Green flags are out, and we are underway. Dustin Higdon in that pretty 15. He's been keeping that car pristine for this very race. Good, clean start, and it's Frank the Tank. Frank Button with the lead. William Hyman into second. Leroy Racer third in the 74. Huggy Bear, William Hyman slides into that second spot. Side by side with Kenny Roth and Chuck Brewer. And here comes Dustin Higdon. Oh, into the wall, Kenny Roth and Chuck Brewer. They ran out of race. The track skinny's up there going into turn number one. A little bit of contact there, and Kenny's going to drop back in car number 80. Frank the Tank showing the way. William Hyman trying to chase him down. It's Ford versus Chevy at the front of the field. Bumper cover flapping in the breeze for Chuck Brewer. Now Kenny's got white walls on the side of car number 80. Things calm down for now. Dustin Higdon from the back of the pack, he's up to fifth. I know he wants to win this race. He's kept that car. Uh-oh, Chuck Brewer. A 5-0 getting loose behind Dustin Higdon. Trying to give Dustin a speeding ticket. Anyways, Dustin's been trying to keep 15 pristine for this event. The Dom family means a lot to a lot of the uh, people that have been around this speedway for a long time. So I know Dustin wants to get up there and win. Didn't run the heat race, having to start from the back, making it interesting. Good clean start to this one. Frank the Tank showing the way, but it's old Huggy Bear, William Hyman behind him. Couple of the fast cars, Ben Say and the Bromleys, not here today. Uh-oh, smoke out of the 01. Tim Nichols and the Dodge having problems. Blew up a couple of weeks ago and having more problems tonight, but at least he made the feature. He'll get two French fries and a hamburger for his troubles. Up front, Frank the Tank showing away, but his lead starting to evaporate. Here comes Huggy Bear, William Hyman, and that beautiful Monte Carlo. William Hyman, a master at these types of races. These stock 20 lappers, Enduros, Crasheramas, you name it. And he's putting the pressure on Frank the button. Frank goes up the track. Here comes William Hyman. Frank starting to mirror drive a little bit. As you can see, that big 69 closing in. Look at Dustin Higdon all over the back of Aaron Foy. Aaron Foy's had cars on top of him today, and now he's got Higdon all over the back of him. Frank Button, two car links at the front of the field, struggling in turn four. William Hyman turns down to the bottom. Battle for the lead brewing. Frank Button leads it. Two car breakaway at the front. Huggy Bear, William Hyman all over Frank the Tank's back bumper now. Dustin Higdon up to fourth and looking for more. He gets a draft on Leroy Racer down the back straight away. Leroy cuts him off. Takes the nose right off, or takes the air right off his nose. And now Higdon's gonna find another way around. Higdon gonna bump him this time, trying to knock him down the racetrack. Higdon gonna fly around the outside for the lead on the back straight away. Here comes Huggy Bear, William Hyman. Not able to get Frank that time. Higdon around the outside of Leroy Racer for third. Frank the Tank ahead of two veterans of this type of racing, William Hyman and Dustin Higdon. Higdon's got to make up half a straightaway. Plenty of time to do so. Good clean run for the Bomber Bees so far.
This time by 10 laps complete. 21 laps of distance, one extra lap tonight in honor of George. Field is pretty well spread out. A couple of lappers dead ahead. And William Hyman with a big run off of turn number two. Hyman in the Monte Carlo pulls back in line. Frank Button in the Crown Vic. So we have the battle for last between a Ford and a Chevy. The battle for the lead between a Ford and a Chevy. This is going to get interesting. Lap cars will stay on the bottom. Slow groove is on the bottom. Frank the Tank gasses it up. Goes a little bit too high. Here comes Hindman looking three wide on the back straightaway around lap traffic. Frank tiptoed a little bit too much up the racetrack. Hyman has the nose to the inside. Can Frank Button hold the outside? Button's going to have the momentum. We'll see if he can battle back side by side for the lead. William Hyman by half a car length at the line. Lap car side by side battling for position. Dustin Higdon, where's he going to go? Higdon going to fly around. Kenny Ross, number 80 car, leading rookie. Having a tough day today. Higdon going to fly around. Lucas Johnson in the 26. Higdon is clear. William Hyman, the race leader. Frank, the tank button in second. Hyman in that big, beautiful Monte Carlo out in front of the field. So it is William Hyman, Frank Button, the top two. Dustin Hayden, the white 15 on the back straightaway in third. Fourth is the 74 Leroy Racer. And how about that old Pontiac six-cylinder G6 for Aaron Foy rounding out the top five. Chase Simons back in sixth. Chuck Brewer seventh. Last car on the lead lap, Mike Dom in front of 56. Good, clean race out of the Bomber Vs. Field is spread out for now. A caution could change everything. Frank Button staying in the tire tracks of William Hyman's number 69. Old Huggy Bear. Oh, look at Dustin Higdon sideways off the corner. I mean, that's pretty normal for him, so no need to worry. He's driving the wheels off that thing, trying to catch the leaders. He goes way high. Trying to arc that car into the corners and down the hill. Time starting to run out for Higdon. Leaders coming up on Mike Dom's number 56. Heinemann leads by two car lengths. Frank Button trying to close back in. Frank trying to change up his line a little bit, see if he can draw a beat on that Monte Carlo. Lap traffic ahead, Mike Dom down on the bottom of the racetrack. He'll stay down there, out of the way as he always does. Dom moves over, William Hyman gonna fly around. Frank gonna have to follow him by. Frank catches him in the apex of the corner. And William Hyman gains a couple of car lengths that lap. Laps winding down now for William Hyman of 69. This one's scheduled for 21 laps, 18 laps complete. 18 complete, just three to go. Three laps to go for William Hyman of the 69. Frank Button, 23, running out of time, as is Dustin Higdon. Been clean and green so far. Two laps to go. This one not over yet, so a mile to go. Anything can happen. William Hyman looking for the win in the Bomber B. George Dom, Memorial 21. Frank Button trying to make something happen here in the closing stages. Dustin Higdon too far back. White flag set to fly. Final lap for William Hyman in the 69. Beautiful 74 Monte Carlo showing the way over Frank's crown Vic. Dustin Higdon, a distant third. The shame he didn't run the heat race. It's going to be a three-car battle. Final time into turn three. Frank's going to send it down in there, but he's going to run out of time. Off turn number four to win the Don Memorial. William Hyman in car number 69. Frank Button comes home in second. Dustin Higdon comes home third. Fourth, we'll go to Leroy Racer with his best run of the season. And rounding out the top five, that old little Pontiac for Aaron Foy. Foy boy brings it home fifth, sixth for Chase Simons, a good run there. And then the rest of the field.
wrapping their way to the finish. And this is going to be a special one for William Hyman. And I think he's going to try to burn it down for you. Well, I'm here, ladies and gentlemen. William Hyman, your winner. And that is how you pull into victory lane. Here he comes, your race winner in the Don Memorial. It's here for William Hyman in car number 69. William, come on over here, buddy. William, you've been running these kind of cars and you've won a lot of races here, Orlando Speed World, elsewhere. I know those all mean something, but this one's got to mean a lot to you considering what we were racing for tonight. Absolutely. Uh, George Dom was a great man. I tell you what, he would take his shirt off, the ch shirt off his back, tools, whatever he had on his truck was yours to use. Anytime you needed it, he, if, he, if his old ass had to come over the wall and change your tire, he'd be there. And you had to chase down Frank, who's been pretty quick out here with those Crown Vicks. And, you know, he brought this thing out, shook it down here last week. You found the speed you needed tonight. Where did it come from? Uh, actually, it came from Rick Gaither. <laughs> Uh, my carburetor has been taking a crap on me for the past couple of weeks, and he happened to have one in his toolbox that was good enough to get the job done tonight. I know Frank has tried to get his first win. I hate to take it from him, but this one's pretty good for me. Well, I know uh, you had to, you just wanted to come out here and win this race, and this one meant a lot, and we, we're definitely going to miss George. Uh, George. We're just see you get this win tonight. Pretty special. Do you have anybody else you'd like to thank? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Actually, this, this car here is a throwback paint job to a car that uh, my dad built. He built me a car that looked just like it. I was 12 years old on a dirt track in Bithlow, and I lost my dad two years ago. This is the first stock car win I've been able to get with his number on the car. It looks just like his. I miss him every day. I'm happy to have this car, this number, in victory lane here again at New Smyrna. What a special night for you, William. We'll let you soak it in. Do me a favor, grab the, our winning 50-50 number. Folks, get your tickets out. We'll read that in a second. But let him hear it one more time. William Hyman, your race winner in the Bomber Bees tonight. Extra special down here in Victory Lane. Even the second place team is cheering for him. Let's head over and grab a word with Frank the Tank. Frank, talked to you on the phone a couple times this week. You weren't even sure if you were going to get here. All kinds of problems with the car after a tough outing last time you raced, you had some help and got things buttoned up. You had a fast car tonight. There's no holding back William, but second place, I know it's not where you want to be. You want to come out here and win, but it's still a good run for you. It's a great run. I want to thank Jim and Danny and Holly and Pops. Everybody put, we put $1,500 in these cars in the last three days. We went ourselves broke, but 185 wins, 186 now to zero. I mean, you guys can do the math, but I gave it everything I got. It is what it is. We'll get, try to get them next one. Well, if you keep running like this, you're going to get one spot better. It, it's coming. It's coming. You keep working hard and, and you keep getting out here, you're going to win one. Anybody else you need to thank? I want to thank Holly, Jim, Pops, Danny. Uh, I want to thank VMP Motorsports. Uh, they just came on with us. I want to thank Boogs Engineering, which is uh, who, Tim, Timmy Moore. Thank you, Brian. Uh, I want to thank Homeaway Healthcare. I want to thank the pool sponsorships. I want to thank uh, Shark Bite Cafe. I want to thank everybody that gives me support, and especially Holly and these guys. Um, I couldn't do it without them. And thank you guys for coming out. Appreciate it. Five dollars. Hope that was a great show for five bucks. So uh, thank you again. Ladies and gentlemen, here for Frank Button. He's got one more thing. Thank you, Tom. Speedway video, brother. Woo! There you go. Don't forget the video, man. Thank you, Frank. Good job tonight for Frank Button. And how about Dustin Higdon bringing it home in third from starting out back. Didn't even run the heat race in this thing. And here you are. If you had a caution, did you have anything for William? Uh, I don't know if I had anything for William, but I know if we got a caution, it would have got rowdy up front. So this race, I put it together for George Dom. We parked down in turn three with him forever. They're like family. So as long as you guys had a blast watching the race, that's all that matters. And this is for George. And it was still fun watching you come from the back. You always put on a show. You got your car sideways and always digging, man. So we appreciate it, and thanks for everything you do out here. Yeah, it was a fun race. I had a blast. We had a caution. It would have been a little bit different, but till next time. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. It's here for Dustin Hayden. It brings it home with a nice third-place run in car number 15. Spectator racers, we need you guys ready to go. Spectator racing coming up next. Let's get a little bit of money. Go to patreon.com slash speedwayvideo now.